All right, welcome to the video. Today we're going to go over our brand new comic book SREF code guide. So, this is a handy flip book with 20 of our favorite comic book SREF codes. And by meaning a flip book, I mean this is uh, you just flip through here and we've got them all listed. And then you could just type this in when you. Um, you're looking for a really cool SREF to use for a comic book type image. Now, what does this look like and what is an SREF code? Let me show you real quick. So here's a, a, a prompt with a lion, okay? And then when we use an SREF code, which is SREF with uh, this number, okay? That makes the image look like this, right? But if we use a different SREF code, we get a completely different aesthetic. So as you can see, as we use different codes, we can get uh, a different result. And all of these in the uh, SREF code guide are all based on comic book uh, type books. And so what I wanted to do is kind of show you how this works. Now, what I've done is we've done lions, and uh, which are great. But I want to show you as an example, uh, a Navy SEAL team that's on patrol. So I've got a prompt set up for that. We've got our aspect ratio at uh, four to three and then a quality two. And then what we've done is we've got this curly bracket, right? And then the 20 S refs that are in the guide are included and they're just sort of separated by a comma, okay? Now the curly bracket is called power permutations. This is how I like to work, which is to create a lot of stuff at once. Uh, warning, if you're in a lower mid-journey plan, this is going to eat up your GPU time if you do this. But um, you should play around with this anyway just to see what happens. And so we use the curly bracket, which is the key right next to the letter P on your keyboard. Just hit the shift key. It's the top one there. And then you put in your SREF code with a comma and then all the rest of them. And then when I hit return, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get all 20 of these and we're gonna go through these one by one just to kind of show you. And uh, as you can see, they're all getting developed here. And uh, here we go. And so I'm gonna scroll, uh, I like to start at the bottom and scroll up so you can see them. So this SREF, which is 4294967295, is the first one in the SREF code uh, comic book library here. And as you can see, it has a particular look. It's kind of has the people backlit. You may have seen your favorite, your favorite uh, comic book might look like this. Here's a completely different SREF, uh, SREF code. As you can see, this look is different than this look. Right. So if you like this kind of dark and kind of ominous uh, kind of style, th this could be the one for you. Right. Here's a different one, which is kind of a cleaner look. It's a little more painterly. It's kind of like we're using gouache or watercolor or something. Um, this could be just an amazing kind of thing for you. How about this one, which is uh, kind of a, a more of an illustrative one where everything has got a gold tone to it. Here's another one that's kind of a bright colors, but with pen and ink, you know? So all of these have a different look. They have a different aesthetic. Again, how you use it is it's the same prompt. It's just a different, a different number. And so think about how you're creating something. Maybe you've got characters doing different actions. Maybe you've got um, different scenes or vehicles or who knows what. If you use the SREF code for the different images, What's really great about that is they will all look the same. So this is how you get visual consistency with characters, with scenes, with things doing different uh, different looks. And you just find an SREF code that you like, and then you can use that throughout your uh, throughout your piece. And as we scroll up here, you can see some of these. Um, they all look different. And that's what's really great about it. You know, some of these more anime looking, some of these are more cartoony, some of these are more photographic or, you know, high contrast look. Uh, that's what really makes it super amazing 
is that we've got all of these different S refs all in one place. And all you got to do is just go to this guide, right? And then you can find the ones that you like and start playing around with it, right? Um, so uh, some of these, I, I really love this one a lot. It has a kind of a 1970s kind of crazy look to it, right? This has more kind of a, a paint, paint uh, kind of look to it. These are more photographic, right? And uh, here's the last one, which is uh, kind of this illustrative look, right? So which one of these 20 SREF codes were your favorite? Um, I don't really know, but download the guide and then you can start playing around with this stuff and uh, you can do something really super amazing. And um, that's it. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. We would love it if you would download the guide, but also consider subscribing to our Mid Journey Experience newsletter. So this is a weekly newsletter that comes out delivered right to your inbox. Uh, and it's only $12 a month. Lots of content, lots of tips and tricks, lots of stories from users just like you. And then uh, you can learn how to use Midjourney better. So anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll talk to you later.